Hi guys, I'm Richard from Pagefly. Are you tired of spending hours recreating the same sections for every new page on your Shopify store? Say goodbye to repetitive tasks and hello to a smarter way of designing with Pagefly Save Sections. Pagefly Save Section is created to save you hours of design work. It lets you save an existing section or create a new one and reuse it on all of your Pagefly or Shopify pages. Let's start with how to create and save a section in Pagefly. Navigate to the Sections tab on the Pagefly dashboard. You can create a section from the blank section or from a template. There are a lot of pre-made template for you to choose. I will choose to create a blank section. Let's make a simple contact form for our page. To begin, I will choose the layout from the left menu. Give it a background color of your choice. Next, give it a nice title looking. Type in the content you want. You can freely customize the style of the section. Here I will change the text color and font for better result. Let's add the contact form by choosing contact form in the Shopify element. Drag the form you want into the section. Now, you can freely customize the style for the customer form. There you have it. Now, don't forget to save and publish the section for later use. Make sure to name it so you can find it easily. When you publish the section, it will become the saved section. The save section function will capture a screenshot of the section when it has been published as a preview image and save the captured image to Shopify media files. Now, it's time to put the saved section into action. You can add saved section in Pagefly page. You should hover on the section on the page editor. Click the plus icon on the top right of the section. In the pop-up menu, you can choose the saved section. Here, let's select our contact form that we created earlier. And you have it. In addition, you can add saved section in theme editor. First, open the theme editor. Scroll down to the position you want to add the saved section. Hover the section and then hover the plus icon. Click Add Section. Now look for the Pagefly section. Click the Pagefly section on the menu on the left. In the Sections drop-down menu, choose the one we've just created. It's done. To edit saved section. Let's head over to the section list, select the section, and edit it in its editor page. You can't edit the saved section on the editor page, but if you want to use a saved section only on one page, just unsync it. This makes the section independent, so changes to the original won't affect it. And there you have it. With saved sections, you'll streamline your page creation process, saving time and effort while maintaining consistency across your site. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. There are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.